Hi, it's Nurse Samantha, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to insert a Foley catheter into a male. So as you can see right here, I have my um, kit here, and then just a personal preference, because I have bigger hands, I have the size that I need, which is a seven and a half of sterile gloves. So we would introduce ourselves to the patient, perform hand hygiene, and then I would explain what we would be doing to the patient. Hi Hector, I'm Nurse Samantha, and we're gonna be inserting a Foley catheter into you. So after explaining the procedure that we will be doing to the patient and verifying the orders, now we just wanna assess the area, um, making sure that it's clean. All right, Hector, I'm just gonna lift up your gown. All right. It looks, it looks good. So we're ready to start. So now I'm gonna open up my kit. And put this inside. And then um, this is where we need to practice our sterile technique. There's a one inch border along this. So I'm gonna open it away. I'm gonna actually move this right here. Okay. And now I'm just gonna turn this so um, it does not touch my scrubs. And at this point, you don't wanna turn away from your field. So personally, I just like to throw this away. Um, these are the gloves. I already have the pair that I need, so I'm just gonna throw that away. And then the waterproof drape we're gonna put underneath the patient. And then just remember that the shiny side is going to be down. the fenestrated drape uh, you could choose to use this on your patient or not I personally don't so I'm just gonna throw it away now from here I'm gonna take off my regular gloves throw that away and then I want to get my sterile gloves and I want to emphasize that when we're putting on our sterile gloves you want to make sure that both sterile fields don't touch each other All right, after putting my sterile gloves on, I'm gonna start uh, prepping my supplies. So we have the iodine, and personally I like to open it up and put all that out. Okay, and then I have my jelly. I'm gonna squeeze it inside the container. And now after preparing all that, I'm gonna... This is if you need a UA collection, I don't, so I'm just gonna dispose of this. Okay, and then, all right, now I'm gonna get my saline solution. I'm gonna connect it to the tubing. All right, and now, Removing this plastic part, we want to be careful that it's not going to flail around area uh, everywhere. You know, we want to keep it sterile. So I personally like to, as I'm slowly pulling it out, inch by inch almost, and then I like to coil it around my fingers. All right. And then from this point, I do like to get the uh, the end of the tubing and one to two inches, I like to coat my uh, catheter with the lubricating jelly. Gonna, another personal preference, I like to put my whole uh, kit onto the patient's bed so it's easier for me to move around with it. So we wanna get the whole tray. Now we're gonna set it down on the patient's bed. All right, and now with your least dominant hand, that's where you wanna grab the uh, genital area. And then once I place my hand on that area, I cannot move it. All right, so I'm gonna, can I actually move this like this? That's fine. So now I'm gonna grab 
So now I'm just gonna get my iodine to cleanse the area. We're gonna go towards the middle and out. And another preference for me, I just like to drop it once I'm done so I'm not going over my sterile field. One more time again, drop. One last time and drop it. Now I'm gonna get my catheter. Make sure that it's coated with the um, jelly. And now at this point, um, I'm gonna inform my patient, take a deep breath. I'm gonna insert the uh, tubing in. One, two, three, all right, insert. And then once you see that flash of urine, that's when you can stop. So I see the flash of urine. Now I wanna go one more inch going in. And then from right here, this hand that I had, um, now this hand that's on his penis is gonna go down to the tubing, we could move it. And then from here, I would blow up the balloon. We have 10 cc's, keep that in mind because that's what we need to document. Okay. And now we wanna tug on it to make sure the um, balloon is fully inflated. And yes, it is. So now we could remove that stuff and then we could hang it on the side of his bed. After inserting it all in, we could just clean all this up and throw it away. And now I'm gonna change my gloves. Form hand hygiene. And put on a new pair of gloves. So from here now we've changed um, into a new pair of gloves and now we just wanna get a washcloth and start cleaning the area around where the betadine was at. All right, he's good to go. And now we wanna cover up, cover up our patient, lower the head of the bed, give him his call light. And then from there we would just document um, that we inserted the Foley catheter and how many cc's we filled up the balloon. He meant the size of the Foley catheter, which is a 14 French. 